Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Debbie with Debbie's Stampin' Creations and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I am excited today to show you the baby wipe technique. So, before we get started on the card, we do have our mini catalog and today or tomorrow is going to be your last day to be able to order for celebrations. So, try to make sure to get your orders in so you don't miss out on anything and the set that we're going to be using today for our baby wipe technique is out of our mini catalog so if you don't have the mini catalog right now and you would like a copy please let me know and I'll make sure I get one out to you don't forget to subscribe to my channel below that little button down there so that you can be sure to not miss out on any of my videos that I put on. Okay, so today, here's the card that we're gonna be making, just saying hello. And this is the baby wipe technique. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna bring in my paper plate here because that's what I like to use for my tray. Um, and baby wipes. And the thing about the baby wipes is the only thing that I know has to be special is that it can't have a print or a pattern or be quilted because if it does then that's going to come through on your card on your picture so you're just going to take a few baby wipes here I've got three there I think that should be enough and you're gonna bring in your ink refills now we have ink refills for every color ink that we have Today, because of the fall, it's officially fall, we don't wanna miss out on the opportunity to get these gorgeous colors out. So I'm gonna be using pumpkin pie, crushed curry, Cajun craze, and old olive. And the way we do this is we're just going to put some drops around on our, and it doesn't matter, there's no magic number as to how many to put on or you know, how close together or anything. You're just gonna put some drops. You can see those are starting to bleed around. So now we go back with another color and we put in some more colors. And like I said, there's no magic number or pattern or anything to this. You're just going to Put some drops on there and let them bleed together. Next, we're going with our crushed curry. And when you do this, it's funny that this is like an awesome technique and it gives you your own little ink pad here with the color blends that you want to use. Um, but it's kind of funny that we always tend to do this in the fall. It's not just a fall technique. You can do this any time of year and um, you can use any colors. You could go and use pinks and purples and yellows and reds and make birthday things with it. Um, but today we're making a leaf card and we're using our fall colors. Okay, so the stamp set that we're gonna be using is a new one out of our uh, mini catalog and it's called Gorgeous Leaves. And it does come as a bundle with a die set. We're not going to be using the dies today, however, but um, I'm sure I'll be doing another card soon that includes the dies. I'm also going to be using, just saying hello out of our Tasteful Touches stamp set, which is in our annual catalog. I just really like that, and I think it's just saying hello, sending out fall, fall cards. So let me show you what we're gonna start with here. And the card base that we're going to be using is um, Crushed Curry, the standard card base size. Um, then we're going to have a layer of our Cajun Craze, which is going to be five and one quarter by four. So it gives us that base layer. The next piece, the piece that we're actually gonna be stamping on is very vanilla and it is 
5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8. That's going to give us just the tiniest little border around just enough to make it pop. Okay, so let's get started with our stamping. Don't forget when you're placing your order online to use the September host code so that you get the thank you card in the mail from me with a surprise in it. So, all right, let's get started. We're gonna use the smaller leaf out of the leaf set just so that it gives us more space to do it in more detail. But the first thing we're gonna stamp is going to be our greeting just saying hello and we're going to do it right in the center of the card and we're going to use the Cajun craze to stamp that. Like I say you want to try to just center it in your card. There we go. Now we're going to bring in our homemade ink pad that we've done with the baby wipes and the ink refills and we're just going to start stamping. So you can see it's all kind of blended together. When you stamp it's going to pick up those colors. See how bright and pretty they are? This can be used for several cards. So when you're getting ready to do it make sure that you have your papers cut so that you can do multiple cards while doing this. Um, the more you use it, the longer you let it set, the more the colors are going to blend and you're going to start getting the darker, you know, browns and a mixture of the inks. But what we're doing is we're just stamping around. And if you want to pick up some different colors, like you can go over to the sides where you want more of the reds or more of the greens to get those colors blended in there as well. And there you go. Isn't that cool? Let's do just the tip of one down here. And I think we can do a little bit right here and maybe over here. Okay, as you can see, it was just randomly done around the card base, the card, the card piece. Um, I need to get one of those baby wipes because I have ink all over my hands and I don't want to transfer that when I'm putting together our beautiful card. Okay, so now we could just layer that right onto our card base. Oops, wrong piece. And apparently, I don't know what, I, oh, here it is over here. So we could just layer this right on here, and that would be a beautiful card. But we're going to do one more step here, and we are going to, I'm using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I love these dies. I use them all the time. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this piece out. And make another layer on our card. So I'm using my stamp and cut and emboss machine just to cut that out. I'll only take a second here. Okay. Now you can see that I've cut that out. And it's got the little scalloped edge around it. What I did was I went ahead and I got a piece of the Cajun Craze. That's just a tad bit bigger. Whoops, sorry about that. My camera got moved. So I've cut that out and I put it on a layer that's just a little bit bigger. Now when I pop that out, it's going to give it some separation but you still have all of your prints running together. So it makes for a really cool card. Let's go ahead and attach these two pieces together. 
and make sure you just layer it so it's just barely got an outline on it. And this piece of Cajun Craze is two and an eighth inch by three and a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now we're gonna take our frame and put it on our top layer here. And it has just a tiny bit of frame around it. And to add just a little more oomph to this, we're going to take dimensionals and we're going to pop this in the center. Okay. This is just going to give it that little bit of dimension. And you see you line the leaves back up so you'll know exactly where to put it. And there's the top of our card. Now to pop it even more I wanted to add a little different color so that we weren't all just the Cajun craze there. So we're using the card base um, Crushed Curry. We're going to make sure we use our bone folder on this. And now see when you add that on there, that pulls out some more of those colors and gives you even more of the fall theme here. So we're going to take and put that on. And look what I, oh, I'm out. That's why. Let me just grab an old one here to finish up. There we go. Just saying hello. Now on the inside, we could add another piece of the um, very vanilla if we wanted, or you could just leave it like this because it's light enough that you can write on the inside. Then you could write your greeting in there. You could also take your stamp and finish off your envelope. And don't forget to finish off the back of the card. Um, if you wanted, you could, where's my other, here it is. If you wanted, you could take that leaf and just add another leaf to the back and then maybe initial or see how that would pull it all together. Um, or we do have stamp sets available in the catalog. I kind of like the leaf. And then, you know, you could go back and put your initials and the date or the year so that they know what year they got it. Um, but I just love this card. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're in your fall spirit and are ready to do some fall cards. This one's, pro I'm probably going to do this one for my mailing out this month. I try to mail cards to the people on my mailing list. And... I really, really like this method. So that will be the card for now. Don't forget to subscribe below and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. Have a great day.